France has had operations in Vietnam for 30 years this year, um, which makes us one of the longest foreign uh, licensed law firms in the country pretty much since it opened up. Uh, we are big advocators for the relationship, for the opportunity, for the team I personally have had to work with over there, over two different stints. Um, and it's a no-brainer really about getting that relationship, keeping it strong and working together for more opportunities. We had some very entrepreneurial individuals um, who saw the opportunity in the very early days of Vietnam's opening up to the world. Um, and there's been a few um, hiccups along the way with various crises that have hit the region and they stayed the course. And I think that is an important part about doing business um, in Vietnam, of having that longer term view. Uh, we're now reaping the benefits on the other side with a country that's withstood COVID as one of the best in, in the world and continue to see some really fantastic um, opportunities there and hearing today the stories of others in the region, Vietnam is clearly a stellar uh, partner. I'm an energy lawyer and ultimately you know when we're looking around the world of net zero targets, energy transition, you know, the move um, to clean our renewable energy, um, one of the most exciting things for me having worked in Vietnam in recent times is how quickly that transition is underway. Uh, so I'm very, very excited about the opportunities in that space specifically um, and then all of the other sort of opportunities that come along with such a transition. Mm -hmm.